Hi everybody, I'm Amanda the G. We are in my kitchen today because we're cooking today. We're gonna make something good. Starbucks has decided for a second year in a row that they do not want to bring back the gingerbread latte in the United States and it's like the only holiday beverage that I actually care about and I'm very frustrated about that so instead today I'm going to make my own. I found a recipe online for a copycat which I will link in the description box so you can find that recipe. I am altering it just slightly. I'll let you know how but we're going to try this. We're going to make our own gingerbread latte and we're just going to, we're going to hope, hope that it's better than theirs because you know what? They're pissing me off, okay? So to make this, we need sugar and brown sugar, water, vanilla, molasses, and some spices. So this is where I'm altering it a little bit. They just said to put cinnamon and ginger in here. I have added some nutmeg and some cloves because I am not a heathen. Or rather, I am a heathen, but the best type of heathen. Busting out a whisk just to make sure it gets all the way smooth. Then all we have to do is heat this up until it simmers and then turn the heat down a little bit and simmer for five minutes. And then you have what this is, is the syrup that goes into the latte. We've made it to a simmer here a little bit faster than I wanted to. We've gone ahead and Turn down the heat. Oh my, it is quite intensive. Holy cow. And come on, it's, it's all right, chillax. We're gonna let this go for five minutes. I originally thought that I could leave this on the stove now and go and make my coffee and then save myself some time here, but evidently you cannot leave this on the stove because the bubbles, the bubbles come up really fast and they will explode out of this pot. So I guess I'm gonna stand here for five minutes and stir. This has gotten nice and thick with like three C's and I don't think I wanna let it get to four C's. So I'm gonna take that off the heat and let's come over to the best machine ever, the coffee pot. because I am a dick. I am using the Starbucks holiday cup from this year because yes, I did get myself one of these just because their other holiday lattes are crap doesn't mean I didn't also still want one of these. So it says to use two shots of espresso, but homie don't play that, I'm using three. I like coffee, okay? Then it says to use three tablespoons of this thick, thick syrup. That seems like a lot to me. It seems very sweet, so I might not use quite that much. Pour on my milk that I don't get charged an additional 70 cents extra for using this milk when I'm at home, Starbucks. I'm gonna put some of this froth on top. The original recipe says to sprinkle a little bit of nutmeg on top, but my nutmeg is kind of clumped and if I'm gonna grate something fresh, it's really difficult with this hand. So I'm just going to go ahead and try this. This is my version of the gingerbread latte from Starbucks that is not available in the United States, but is available in other countries because Starbucks hates me. So let's see how this is. And also, yes, I am a little bit bitter that I'm not able to consume dairy. And because of that one, most of their holiday lattes, I cannot actually drink because the syrup already has dairy in it. And two, I have to pay an additional 70 cents per cup to have milk that is shelf stable and costs less than dairy milk. It is not exactly the same as Starbucks, but that is good. All right, that, that is really good. I actually very much encourage you to go to that link, look at the recipe, make it. It's very simple, makes a lot, that's good. 
Uh, it's a lot of syrup for me to drink, and I usually only have like one of these a year. So we're gonna have to have a few more than one this year. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. Stay fresh, cheese bags. Starbucks, please, if you ever see this. If you ever see this, please bring back the gingerbread latte in the United States. So many of us love it, and so many of us want it back. And quite frankly, it would just be a nice thing to do. Okay, 2020 has sucked enough. It'd be a nice thing if you could bring back the latte that people want. If you're wondering how much extra syrup it makes, this much, which is not as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but that's like two tablespoons at a time. That's, that's a lot.